guys, my name is Jessica Ryan and I'm a sustainable fashion blogger and lifestyle blogger. Uh, you can find my blog at windowseatview.com. Um, you may have caught my last two videos um, where I was sharing more, more of my wardrobe and my basic tops and bottoms that create the foundation of my wardrobe and these were all items that I wear throughout the seasons and um, help me build outfits um, with many pieces that are seasonal. Um, so today I want to share more of my personal style and how I approach a sustainable wardrobe with lots of tips that I hope will be beneficial to you and um, help you create a more sustainable wardrobe. So um, let's get into it. Um, so today we're going to go through my dresses and jumpsuits that I wear from season to season. Um, I would say these are my most worn items because I'm just like a huge dress person and um, jumpsuits I kind of categorize as the same thing because it's like it's so simple to put on a dress or a jumpsuit and go which I absolutely love like I just love the simplicity of it and having an outfit and one uh, in one piece so um, I'm sharing some of my favorite brands and how you can uh, buy these items more sustainably um, for instance uh, this jumpsuit that I'm wearing from Alana Khan I hope I pronounced that right uh, this is one of my favorite jumpsuits I bought it last summer through Poshmark and it's actually a pretty expensive piece but I found it at like half the price on Poshmark and I absolutely love it and I wear it all the time and you can definitely find more of it on the blog and my Instagram. Let's go into some more of my favorite jumpsuits. Um, this would be one of them. Sorry some of this is going to be inside out because that's just how I roll. But um, this is from Linen Fox and it's one of my favorite linen brands and the lavender color is just absolutely perfect for any season and I just love this brand. Um, they have some of the cutest like minimalistic styles um, and they just create a great foundation for a wardrobe and they carry all kinds of stuff, jumpsuits, dresses. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I just shared a jacket that I bought from them that I'm going to be wearing all spring. And yeah, so this is just a great color, especially for the springtime, summertime. Um, yeah, and it's just a fun way to mix up your wardrobe if you want to add more color. Um, this is another jumpsuit that I absolutely love and I've had it for years and it's a Madewell one and I especially love this this style because you can layer all kinds of different stuff underneath it um so like sweaters or like floral blouses just depending on what season it is and it's a great piece it has a little tie on tie in the back so it's a very versatile piece Let's find, I don't actually have a lot of jumpsuits. Um, I'm actually missing one of my favorite ones. I think it's in the laundry, um, but I also have this green uh, jumpsuit that's made out of hemp and cotton. And it's from one of my favorite, favorite brands, uh, Bat, Backbeat Rags or Backbeat Co, I guess now. And they have the most comfortable stuff. If you've never had any hemp clothing, you have to buy something now because you just have to try it. It's so comfortable and you gotta trust me on that. Um, I would say an iconic piece of my style is floral prints. And the biggest thing that I love about the Doen collection, which you probably hear me on Instagram talk about it all the time is their prairie style floral prints and I just love 
I really love a good maxi dress and just a color that's fun but also can be worn throughout the seasons and yeah this is a great spring dress but I, I also wear this dress in the winter time I just throw on a turtleneck underneath and I'm ready to go um another dawn piece that I have that I wear a lot is this gorgeous print which let me show you up close it's a very floral late summer fall print I would say um, but I just love wearing it whenever because it's super cute um, I also have this navy blue dress from Doan that I love I love the ruffle detail um, I actually got this one on a pretty major discount around Christmas time, so um, I would definitely watch out for their sales if you're a big fan of them because they sometimes put on, um, on some really good sales around the holidays. Um, but yeah, I just love the Dawn brand. I, they would have to be like my favorite brand and um, they, they really align with my sustainable heart because um, they're just ethical and their values are just completely in line with mine and I just love their creative process and how they go into designing every dress and they make every piece just so unique and timeless and it just makes you want to hold on to these dresses forever. Um, but the, but if you can't afford a brand new Dolan dress, there are tons of options on eBay and Poshmark. And I found a few things that I absolutely love um, through secondhand sources. So if you're into that, that style, then I would definitely check out secondhand shops online. Um, I would say a sister brand to Doan would definitely be Christy Dawn, which this dreamy summery dress is from them. And I just love investing in their pieces because they're all made out of dead stock material and so they help reduce fashion waste and um, create really timeless dresses that I feel like every girl can love. Um, they, they also see I also have this dress from Christy Dawn. This is more of a fall dress but I, I also wear it in the summertime and I it's just extremely comfortable. Um, Sometimes it's nice to just have a, a dress that has a simple design like this one. It's just easier to wear and more comfortable. Same with this one. I definitely like dressing up, but it's just, I like the, com the simple comfort also. Um, you may have been able to tell that I'm not much of a talker so I'm taking a dragon fruit break and I just thought I'd share that because who doesn't love dragon fruit? So juicy. Anyway, where were we? Um, before I got into like the more sustainable materials and natural materials and companies that used uh, recycled materials like Christy Dawn, um, 
I really loved the Galvin's Glam collection when it came out. Um, I'm a very vintage inspired kind of gal and their silhouettes when they first came out were like dream dresses for me so I had to splurge and buy a couple. Um, and I totally don't regret it um, because these are dresses that I will wear for a long time. Um, they're just so classic. Like this blue dress. Got a great full skirt and nice short sleeves and uh, a nice cut um, v-neck and the midi skirt length I also really love in a dress but um, yeah this is a great dress for another comfortable day I wear this to, to the airport um, so there's that So, if you got like these summery floral dresses, the best way to give more life to these kind of dresses is to layer underneath them. And that way you can wear them in the fall and in the winter. And this dress I bought from a brand called Arnhem. And they're an Australian brand out of Byron Bay. They just have really fun bohemian style dresses and wall prints. Um, they're a lot like Spell and the Gypsy, but um, I just really love this dress. I've owned it for a few years now and it's just a great spring and summer dress. Um, this dress was one of my last fast fashion purchases ever. Um, but I still really love it. It's like a heavier cotton material from Mango. So, yeah, there's that. Um, here's another Doan dress that I forgot to share. It's a great neutral color. When I'm feeling more neutral than floral. And I just love the bow teeth bow details and it's also another dress that I could easily layer with a turtleneck underneath or a t-shirt, a floral print shirt. Um, this is a more fancy dress that I wear to like a wedding or something or I don't know if I'm feeling fancy I, I just wear it to the grocery store really cares wear what you want um but I just really fell in love with this dress and uh it's from Fame and Partners which is a slow fashion brand that you can um buy great dresses for events and they're made to order and you can custom customize your measurements so it fits perfectly and you want to wear it all the time because it fits so good and I get so many compliments in this dress show you the detail up front up close here um then let's see i have a lot of dresses um my ideal lifestyle would be more minimalistic than this but that's just like not the case right now so i'm working on it um, here's another Gowney's Glam for the days I'm feeling more like a southern belle, but I have this really fun photo shoot that I did in Hawaii in this dress, and it's right next to flowers that are the exact same color, and I am absolutely in love with it, and it's just a nice way to incorporate some stripes nautical stripes for the summertime. Um, I bought this dress recently from Sunday Floor. And if you watch my other videos, 
I mentioned how much I love this brand and they're very vintage inspired and they have amazing linen dresses um, that are just like perfect for your fair fairy tale dreams and so this yellow one was I had kept an eye on it when they released it in the summertime last year and by the time fall hit, I was like, okay, yeah, like I want more yellow in my wardrobe. Like this dress is perfect. And so I went for it and it's one of my favorite things I've ever bought. And I just love wearing yellow and for every season. And it's definitely one of my biggest color crushes for spring. So definitely wearing this color more. Um, here's another jumpsuit. That's also made out of linen. I've had it for a while, but it's from a brand called Post or Pos, Posse, something like that. Um, <laughs> they have the most amazing linen clothing. And again, they're an Australian brand, which I'm absolutely obsessed with Australian brands. Um, but they have like the cutest summery spring Australian by minim minimalistic styles and you have to check them out if you haven't heard of them and then this is another vintage style that I absolutely loved it's got a little bow in the back and a high neck another one from Galmi's Glam um, and then this other one is from Galmi's Glam as well. And this is just the perfect spring dress. I mean, I'd wear it at every season because pink is just a great neutral and I've always been kind of a pink girl. I mean, sometimes I go back and forth with pink, but right now I'm just like, yes, give me all the pink and I'll be good. And yeah, I really love this eyelet detail and the bow, the bows on the sleeve is just so cute. And let's get into some vintage and some thrift finds. Um, this fun color block dress that is super comfortable was like only a few dollars from Goodwill that I found last year. And it's still one of my favorite dresses and just makes a great garden dress and um, I found this dress secondhand through Etsy it's just super fun it's a little grandma style but I absolutely love it not gonna lie nor am I gonna apologize um, this one is not vintage but it's from a brand called adored vintage and it's one of my absolute favorite dresses um ooh, my curls they they caught on everything um so this dress just a nice wrap dress that's really fun to wear i love it it has the prettiest floral print on it with the blue Um, this is another one from Adored Vintage. A nice basic white dress. Okay, this beauty, I might have to flip around for you. Hold on. This dress I bought on Etsy. And I freaking love it. I've been into like the boho like folk style. I use folk style and folk and story hashtags on my post all the time so you can find all of my outfits there especially this gorgeous dress. Um, yeah, I just got, it has a gorgeous Mexican embroidery in like the rust orange 
and the little pops of green. It's so perfect and I highly recommend looking at vintage dresses online and at your local thrift stores because there is some gorgeous stuff out there. And here is another amazing uh, adored vintage dress with the dainty florals. And yeah, I wear this dress all the time. What can I say? And my first Sunday floor purchase was this white linen dress. I don't gravitate towards this dress as much as I thought, but hopefully that will change. And if not, I might have to sell this beauty, but ideally I like to buy things and with the mindset of keeping them forever. That doesn't always work out, but we can help. We can help to be better. All right, this was the last, the most recent purchase I got from Galaxy Slam and it was from last spring. I, I really like the gingham prints and so this was just like a mandatory buy for me as soon as I saw it because I was like, I need this French country inspired print. So I don't regret it. Um, here is another vintage, it's almost like a nightgown, and it has like the Doan vibes, and I just really love it because it's just simple and super summery. As act I actually bought this with the intention of trying to naturally dye it with some avocado pits because I really wanted like that, uh, like light pink, earthy pink color, and I couldn't find it at any shop, so I was like, all right, I gotta do it. So hopefully I get to that at some point, and maybe I'll make a video doing it. That'll be kind of fun. Um, and my last one is this denim dress that I got at Goodwill, and I absolutely love it. You can find its style on my blog with a entire sunflower field, which makes me super happy. Um, but yeah, this is a great dress for any season. You can wear a sweater under it, t-shirt, nothing, whatever you want to do. Um, but I just love having pieces that are versatile and I can wear throughout the seasons. So yeah, that is my wardrobe that I consider um, stuff that I wear all the time. Now, I also have stuff that I consider just for the season. Like I have a bucket where I keep all my summer and spring stuff and I pull it out when it's starting to get warmer and I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe. Um, and the best way for me to build outfits um, for an entire month is to pull items from my wardrobe that are seasonal that I've been missing and wanting to wear again. I put them on this rack and I go through my basic tops, my basic bottoms, and I start styling them in different ways. And it really creates a optimal um, way to style my wardrobe and it helps keep me satisfied with the things I already own and I feel like I don't have to shop as much and yeah I just hope that this inspires you to go through your wardrobe um, identify what makes what creates your personal style and write those things down and um, maybe find some holes in your wardrobe take note of that um, start thrifting for those things that you know that you need. Um, if you find something online that you really love and are thinking about buying, 
um, I would definitely create a wish list, um, listing out all the things that you want to want to purchase for that season. Um, I've cre created my spring wish list, and I have a whole bunch of stuff on there that I'm thinking about buying, but I'm gonna hold off for about a month and see if I still actually want it or need it, and then I'll pull the trigger and go for the go for those items. Um, so in my next video, I will be sharing how I create my spring capsule wardrobe, and I'm going to be sharing all my spring pieces and outfits that I will be wearing. And it might get a little messy, there might be a lot of clothes everywhere, but it should be a fun way to show you how to make the most of what you already own and be more sustainable with your wardrobe. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, and you can find me at windowseatview.com or at Jess Lee Ryan on Instagram. And I have those linked below. And if you enjoyed this video or want to want more tips on sustainable fashion, please subscribe to my channel and I guarantee I will have tons of videos for you um, this year and it's going to be really exciting. So thanks for watching.